Reebok gets back onto the court with the Nano Court. With an eye-catching, stylish look, these shoes offer comfort with a flex weave upper and float ride energy foam cushioning underfoot. For additional support and stability, Reebok places a TPU cup at the heel and zone stability wraps. There's also a grip tonight rubber outsole with a herring mode tread pattern for plenty of grip on the court. First of all, just look at these things. They are sexy, are they not? When it comes to the fit, I have a wide foot. I'm usually a 2E footed player. So I was getting a lot of spill on the lateral and the medial sides. When it comes to the forefoot, I felt like it was generous even for my wide foot. And the length was true to my 10 and a half shoe size. So the fit was okay for me being a wide footed player, but it was a little snug on the sides. I appreciated that it felt like there was a bit of extra cushion in the heel versus the forefoot. So I felt like I was on my toes a little bit more, which I appreciated. When it comes to ventilation, I felt like the shoes performed very well. I didn't feel like my, my foot got very hot when I was playing. Durability wise, I saw a little bit of wear on the high wear areas I normally see, but with this shoe, I felt like it did a really good job. I played about 15 hours and only got a little bit of wear in the toe and the heel. When it comes to stability, I would classify this more as a, a lightweight fast shoe versus a stable offering. I didn't ever feel like the stability was compromised while I was playing. However, the upper being a little bit softer and not so much stability on the bottom of the shoe, I feel like lent itself to me being a little bit faster on court. And like I said, it had the amount of stability that I needed, but not as much as some of the other stability shoes that I'm used to wearing. Overall, really actually enjoyed these shoes. Even though the fit for my wide foot wasn't ideal, I can't wholeheartedly recommend these to other wide-footed players, but in this playtest, I did appreciate everything that this shoe had to offer. I too was on the playtest of this brand new offering from Reebok, the Nano Court, and here's what I have to say about the shoe. It dots practically every I, crosses every T in terms of out of the box comfort, really good breathability, just a supple feel from the first moment I stepped into the shoe. And I would say sufficient uh, cushioning underfoot. So overall, the theme for me was comfort, breathability, a very lightweight shoe, therefore it was very speedy and agile around the court. There was really only one thing missing and that was support. So for me, if I'm playing singles with uh, some of my friends here, Will, it's probably not quite supportive en enough for me. However, for playing doubles, it was plenty supportive enough for me. Overall, just a great play test. If you're looking for a lightweight shoe with incredible uh, kind of a comfort level and breathability, the Reebok Nanocourt is definitely a great shoe option. I have to say I was really excited to hear that Reebok was coming out with a court shoe and the Nano Court immediately caught my attention with these cosmetics. I love these cosmetics. They have a, a kind of a retro feel to them. So I was very excited to wear these on court. As soon as I got them on, I did really enjoy the cushioning. There's a lot in the heel, a little less in the forefoot, but tons in the heel. So very comfortable there. I do have wider feet though, and my feet definitely were not sitting within the shoe and I was sitting on top of the shoe, which was really noticeable in the forefoot. My feet were pushing out the uppers to accommodate the width of my feet. They wasn't pushing on them uncomfortably, but I could really just see the uppers flex in that area. As I started to wear them on court, the first thing I noticed was how sticky the outsoles were. There's not gonna be any slipping or sliding in these shoes. I'm not a hard court slider um, in any of the court sports that I play, so I felt sure of foot there. Um, as I mentioned that the heel cushioning is quite substantial and it's a little bit less than the forefoot. So were there some issues where I felt like I was pitched forward in the shoe and if I made a really hard stop, I did slide forward a bit and experience a little bit of toe jamming, not too extreme. I did opt to use the last eyelet because it is a lower cut shoe for a court shoe uh, and to help shore up the stability and the ankle support there. Overall, I did find these to be very comfortable shoes uh, for me, uh, especially with that heel cushioning. For me, I also did find that I like to place doubles in these and not singles because I did find the support to be a little bit lacking for those really extreme movements. Right off the bat, when I opened the shoe box, the first thing I loved about these Nano Courts is the look. It's kind of giving me a retro, retro vibe with this colorway, so I was really excited to get them on my feet. And when I did, the first thing I noticed with my narrow width foot is that I loved the booty construction. It felt like it really, the uppers really hugged my feet, and I felt like I had the nice amount of room from toe all the way to heel. Now I think the two highlights of this shoe for me is the comfort and the lightweight feel. 
So when I stepped in, I felt nice cushioning under my heel, actually a lot of cushioning under my heel, very soft cushioning as well, and then maybe a little bit less in the forefoot, but still a very comfortable all around fit. And then the shoe is very lightweight. You know, I put it on, it almost feels like a sock. I didn't even have to think about the weight of the shoe when I was moving around. Now when I started moving around, I did notice the traction. It is on the grippier side, so you do get that nice stick when you're planting your feet. Sometimes I prefer a little bit more give, but when you're planting and pushing off, this shoe is definitely staying put. Now, one thing that I look for in shoes is I look for a little bit more support and stability. And with this stability, especially the ankle stability, the hole to get your foot in the shoe is a little bit bigger. And so I wasn't able to get cinched up as much as I like. I did use that extra eyelet, but still was needing a little bit more to feel secure. And then I was also looking for a little bit more support. Now for me, with that extra cushioning in the heel, it was raising my feet up, so I was a little bit on my toes. And then when I was running forward, my foot was moving into the front of my shoe. And then same thing with the side to side movement, I could definitely feel my foot kind of moving side to side um, within the shoe. So overall, I love that there was no break in. It was super comfortable and lightweight, just looking for a little bit more support. For more information on this Reebok Nano Court or anything else pickleball related, head to pickleballwarehouse.com or if you're down under, totalpickleball.com.au.